What's good, everybody? Pokemon Masters Council is back with podcast episode number 61. 61 episodes of Masters Council in your ear hole and in your face. If you're watching us on YouTube or if you're listening, audio listeners over on Spotify, we see you out there. We love you. Stay hydrated. Yes. Um, I'm Gym Leader Justin. I'm Zero. And welcome to Pokemon Masters Council. Today we got a... Very special uh, episode. We're going to be talking about Pokemon TCG, one of the big pillars of our channel in terms of, you know, what we love is cards. We do. We love card games. You can see there's Yu-Gi-Oh, there's Digimon, we got Pokemon, there's flesh and blood behind us. We also have some Magic and One Piece. There's literally cards everywhere. So, uh, today we're going to be talking about the brand new Paradox Rift. It's a set that came out... Last Friday, um, it is heavily focused on ancient and future cards. So, very similar to Rapid Strike and Single Strike mm-hmm. and Fusion Strike. Yep. We've got new play styles coming and new cards to support them. I'm actually really excited to see how they expand on it. Yep. Um, so, we're gonna. this is where we're going to see the new Paradox Pokemon, whether it be yeah. Fluttermane, Iron Hands, yep. Iron Jugulus... Iron Valiant? Does he got a card? There is an Iron Valiant. Ooh. Okay, so obviously, spoiler alert, we should start by... Uh, we'll get there, we'll get there. We'll get there. I, I haven't seen it. He has, so yes. yep. get ready. It's going to be a lot of fun, but obviously, we got to shill real quick. If you are new to the channel, welcome. You know, this is what we do. We cover all types of things. Competitive Pokemon, fun, cards, uh, cartridge, all kinds of stuff that you might be interested in. There's a couple of buttons down there. Come on now, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up, and hit the bell to stay notified so you don't miss out on any of our future endeavors. Going into the DLC, which drops in, like, what, three weeks? So, lots of big plans. So, um, I guess we should start with news slash host hobbies. Yeah, all the goodies. What have we been up to? So, host hobbies, this is going to be a double... I'm going to dabble into news slash host hobbies for mine, and I'm sure you can kind of agree. Um, I have been preparing for the very first PMC online competition. Yep. So we're hosting our very first tournament. If you are watching this the day of this uh, podcast release, the tournament's tomorrow. You still have time to sign up today if you do it now, but uh, there will definitely be more in the future. Uh, mm-hmm. Zero, we're also giving away a prize. What are they going to get? A shiny Piplup for the winner. But I have to say, even if you're not the winner, if you get second place, third place, fourth place, you still want to connect with us on Twitter, X, whatever, uh, and send us a picture of your placement because PMC members, so that would be me, Justin, and Spork Ninja, cannot win yep. the shiny Piplup. It is going away no matter what. So, yeah, it's going to somebody that's not a member of the council behind the scenes here it, at the PMC. It's a legit shiny too. I caught it in Pokemon Go. Oh, I yeah. caught it in Pokemon Go. This is yep. not a gen shiny. If you want to get a piece of the action, we've got a video we're going to link in the description. Uh maybe post editing. I'll put the something up a picture here yeah. right now. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, put the ad up. So basically yes. that's what it is. It is sixes because we love sixes. That's where we cut our teeth in competitive Pokemon. So it is a 6v6 singles format. No timers, baby. No timers. There is a move timer. We yeah. got to go because if you're a stall loser, um, then we want to limit you being a jerk. Exactly. No oh. no toxicity. But we don't want those 20-minute timers. We want the battle to be won by yep. the victor. Yep. So, super fun. Really, really excited. I know my team's already registered. Your team's registered. Doug's registered. So, the three of us will be there. So, you, not only that, you can get a chance to battle some of us. Yeah. Show us See. what you're made of. Exactly. And, uh, spoiler alert, there's going to be a couple of cameras on. Not We're not live streaming, but... no. You might make it into the own PMC video one you day. You might, you might. So come at us with your best. You guys have watched us. Hit us with you. your best shot. <laughs> Throw the Pokeball. Yeah, so uh, we've been showing you guys what we're made of. Why don't you guys sign up, show us what you're made of, win a shiny Piplup. Yep. Uh, free entry, of course. So that's what I've been up to, really, outside of the usual cards and just playing Pokemon. We had some content we came out with. What did we do? We did the 6v6 uh, Infernape 
And we had the live stream for the Halloween special. Yeah, that was so fun. That was, that was really so fun. fun. That was so fun. Guys, if you haven't caught one of our streams, we would love to have you on. Even if you just come on for 10 minutes, say hello. We would really appreciate it. We'll just hit yeah. all the buttons if you want to know it, in the next we one. We do have, uh, we are collecting a lot of things for prize, random Pokemon accoutrement and yeah. Pokemon card codes and all kinds of shiny Pokemon and competitive Pokemon and yeah. You know, extra babies when we're doing our breeding to make our pokes in game. We have extras, and there's all kinds of fun stuff in the Pokemon world that we plan on just we're just collecting in the background for prize support. So yeah. our tournaments and our live streams, maybe it's something you want to get in in uh, involved with. Yeah. Our community projects are vast and plentiful. Yeah, hop into the streams. We'll give away like code cards. It gives me a reason to waste money on packs. Exactly. Um, Other than that, uh, as you can see back here, we have two giant white boxes right here over my finger. Yeah. Uh, those are huge. Yeah. And those are yeah. massive. Yeah. Those are about two thousand ish cards each. One says Flesh and Blood, and one says Digimon. Zero. Did I just go wild or what? You must have spent six hundred dollars, right? No, I spent thirty. <laughs> So our lo one of our local card stores, shout out to Legends Sports and Games over on 28th Street. There it is. Hallelujah. So not only do the, their membership annually is like 10 bucks, and it gets you 15% off your purchases. Like then, all year? Uh, yeah. All the time? All the time, bro. They have a bunch of great people there, great sports staff, and they put up uh, events weekly. For all sorts of different card games that we are very interested in. So when I went in there one day, I went to go pick up a couple of little decks to add to our Flesh and Blood collection for, for Bro Nights yeah. at the PMC. Fun game. They had a sale where it was these giant boxes of 2,000 cards sealed. They taped it up and it was like 15 bucks for Digimon and 15 bucks for Flesh and Blood. So I said, I'll take one of each. And then Spork Ninja went out there and he picked up two for Digimon for himself. So now we're just swimming in cards. So Support your local card shops. If they're not, pieces of shit. <laughs> <laughs> if they don't sell promos on the black market for above MSRP. Let's go. I mean, no, let's not go. Let's not do that, okay? Let's support the good local let's card shops. Let's support the good FLGS. Let's yes. go. Absolutely. Um, there was a local tournament in the Warhammer scene. I did not attend because mm. I was working, yeah. but that's okay. I wasn't probably going to attend anyways. Yeah. Um, the scene sort of dried up around here and I'm pretty sad about it, but it gives me bummer. a lot more times yeah. for all the card stuff. So yeah, that is a bummer because of all of the time, all the money. And you're looking right past the camera at like my entire Thousands, collection. Couple, probably at least a couple thousand yeah. dollars worth of oh, yeah. Warhammer stuff, right? Oh yeah. It's crazy how hobbies just accumulate it's over eight that. years but yeah. yes i mean I, <laughs> yeah 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 i can't tell you how much i've spent on disc discs golf. And, and disc golf yeah. is a cheap sport and that's why i'm happy with, the, with our tcg endeavor because it's something we can all get into your kids love it yeah and now we can do it over wi-fi or in person and what and most decks depending on the game like a digimon deck with sleeves 20 to 30 dollars for a decently competitive deck yeah and pokemon I, 40 to 50 the cheapest deck in our meta is also Probably the or tied for the strongest deck in our meta. Ravemon. Yeah. What I spent for him to get him into Digimon was, well, put it to you this way. It was more expensive to buy the sleeves that went with his deck than the actual cards themselves. Yeah. Since then, he's upgraded and he bought four copies of the Jamming Ravemon. But other than that, the deck is basically just bare bones what I got for him. Yeah. It was so cheap and it's the best deck in our meta yeah, so i've barely made changes and i've pulled off some insane insane su turns super fun so that. digimon for the cost to us can't be beat can't recommend digimon so more. speaking of digimon there's a little bit of news because this week today we're gonna be talking about the brand new set for pokemon yeah. but if time of this recording next week friday bt14 drops for digimon and oh my goodness becky look at that butt Bro, the entire set, it's like 151 for Pokes. Yeah. It's banger after banger artwork, hollow rare, like like super rare, like pulls are crazy good money value. Uh, we're, the, we're getting support for some like classic Digimon. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. We're getting a lot of good stuff. Uh, and then I made a small little purchase. I, Out of the box, I was able to pull quite a few of the Meikumon 
archetype from Digimon Try. Big shout out. I love Digimon Try. That's something that's on his list mm-hmm. still. But uh, Doug and Mike have all caught up with Try, I think mostly. But anyways, it's amazing. And the new Digidestin character introduced there uh, has the Meikumon and... I'm going to be building that deck, the Eclipse deck, which, for people that might not know, it means light and dark. So I'm going to be doing the the yellow and purple. Cool. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. Angemon and, 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 cards, and yeah. Lady Devimon. Yeah. Fused together to make Ophanimon or Dinimon. I'm going to do the Regulmon and Regulusmon, so the, the, the cat. Mm-hmm. Cat deck. Cat, cat deck. Angel, cat, devil deck. Angel, devil, cat, kitty, Murder deck. Murder. <laughs> Murder kitty. <laughs> Nothing more anime than everything we just said. So that's pretty fun. Um, yeah, there's some really cool stuff coming out next week. So I'm actually looking at maybe picking up a booster box and doing maybe an opening. Maybe we'll record it. Maybe we won't. I don't know. But the point is we're having a lot of fun with Digimon. And we did try out Flesh and Blood. Yeah. Super, that was a lot fun. of fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, surprisingly easier to pick up. It's, it's, it actually is like, it's, you know, you, you think it would be more complicated, but it it's really pretty isn't. Stra- yeah, there's, it yeah, is. It's straightforward. But you, it's fun. You can't overthink the game, yeah. especially if you're new. Just sit down, throw some cards out and see what happens. Don't try to like be competitive and win. That's not the be point. The mastermind. That's yeah. not the point. Like the point of Dungeons and Dragons is not to win. It's to go on an adventure, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah. You got to go with that mindset. And if you do... Ultimate Pit Fight for Flesh and Blood. The the group dynamic is yeah. highly recommended. Yeah. Super, super fun. So um, I think the only other thing we got to talk about before we dive into the cards is the Indigo Disc has a release date. What is that date? Is that the 14th? December 14th? I think it was December 14th. But yeah, it's like two weeks into the December. Yeah, we'll, really, really excited. Cannot We'll, we'll have wait. a whole pod on it. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll we'll do a whole thing. We'll probably do another live stream. Yeah. So we'll uh we'll definitely keep uh keep you updated on that. Probably do a tournament as well. And that one may or may not be having to do with some of my favorite pokes of all time, which are of course your starters. Yeah. So more on that. Not gonna talk any more about that, but the indigo disc is gonna drop. I bought the package, you bought the package, right? Yes, yep. Yep, so I'll have it day one, unlike day one. last time. Day one, we're ready to go. We're going to be able to hop right in. There are so many Pokemon coming in the end of the Go Disc. Like, yeah. bro, this list is insane. Yeah. It, I feel like it's like double. It'll be way more impactful than, than the Teal Mask. Mask. Like, the roster's huge. The Pokemon that were the most impactful in the Teal <laughs> Mask, honestly, were Ogre Pond. Yeah. Pretty much like the 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 new Pokemon, the the Royal Three. Yeah. The Liars. The Liars. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert at this point. Your own fault. Um, and they're not even that good. You know what I mean? Yeah. What else has been more impactful? Like, okay. Well, Especially, I'll, like, if we're looking at, like. Glyscore. Glyscore is obviously, but. The biggest uh, one. He was always good. He's a returning threat. Yeah. He's not a new threat. Right. Right. But, like, even though the returning threats. Brelum hasn't made a big enough impact. But um, we never predicted him to make an impact, especially in VGC. Uh, like Milotic. Milotic and Gliscor to me personally, I feel Milotic's like are the ones. Bit, yeah, Milotic's where the, great. We're like the most Home impactful grab. and most meta. So, yeah. Um, DLC, we'll keep you guys updated on our plans for that. We'll have a whole episode about it. It's so. going to be amazing. We're going to have so much fun. So, that's yeah. going to get to. I'm assuming this will be the maybe the northern corner of the map that's like grayed out maybe that's where we'll there explore. are theories of that but at the same time i've also heard that it's going to be like in the middle of the ocean oh so okay well maybe that's new one something else somewhere i, else. I heard it's in the univan sea oh yeah doug was talking about that it has something to do with yeah, gen 5 and, and then look at that gen 5 remake because the getsis artwork had something with gen 5 on his yeah, cloak Kai, or something because kian or K- kieran 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 has the same hair yeah as getsis he's got the two that flop back on the side yeah, and the one on the that's top. what it was so Good we'll show. see i'm really interested in the story i'm really interested in the this the history behind terras and terrapagos so terrapagos is probably the thing i'm most excited about other than the fact that all of these returning pokes the yeah we've talked about it before 
every single starter in existence will be in the game. Mm -hmm. And if you've seen my top 10, I love starter pokes. I can't help it. I'm that guy. I like starter pokes. They're cool. So that's probably the two things I'm most excited for. Because not only is Sceptile coming back, my number one favorite poke of all time, but also Meganium's coming back. Pickles in a Terra format. I'm going to dumpster fools with my baby. Let's go. Everybody always talks crap on Meganium. I don't know. It's a, di- a dinosaur. You don't like Land Before Time? Like, bro, is this is that Pokemon really worse com- even competitively or like it's worse than Typhlosion? Like, like Embor is worse. Embor's way worse. Embor is worse. Objectively like, worse. I th- when I think of like the weakest, lamest starter, he comes to mind a lot for me personally. Chestnut's pretty lame. I don't like the two. I don't love Chestnut either. He might be a close second for like lamest. Like, I like Sorry. him because I'm biased, but I don't think he's... Like, Torterra's way better. Yeah, Torterra, way Torterra's cooler. Torterra's a great... Like, the yeah. fourth gen is still solid. Mm-hmm. So, obviously, as you can tell, we love everything Pokemon. That's what you show up to here for, right? Yes. This is what we do. We just love to talk shit about Pokes. Yep. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Speaking of which, so, we also love TCGs. We, we do. love cards. We We've do. just been gushing about it, right? Uh, we're... There's literally play mats in front of us right now. Oh, there's Septile. There's Septile, yep. And uh, today, Zero's going to take us on a little journey. I'm a passenger. Yes. I'm your passenger. Paradox Rift. And I don't care where you put us. We can just like make the card big or whatever. Paradox Rift. So, yeah, new you, set. You keep talking while I mess around with this. Dropped last Friday. I'm going to go through. We're going to talk about the... Cards that'll have, or we predict to have the biggest meta impact, and then we'll kind of just cherry pick some things that we find interesting. So, Justin, I've got these sorted by color. Yep. Do you want to go through the meta picks and then kind of take a look, or... What, whatever you think is easier. Okay. Because I guess it just starts with grass right here. Well, I don't have any... I don't think there's any really many impactful greens. So, take oh, your take okay. your look right now. Take your look right now. Um, I mean, they look cool, but, I mean, obviously we're not going to... If you want me to read through every one, I will. Yeah. But I like the masquerade. That's really nice artwork. The the, the Surge Kit's cool. Mm. It's not bad artwork, but the Crossel looks legit. That's really nice artwork. The biggest thing here would be the Frostless EX, which... That Orbital artwork, though, that is very, very nice oh, artwork. That would be a nice reverse hollow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... uh. Oh, I guess it... it there it is. Too Look at that. Because... I don't. I don't hate his attack satellite beam. I really don't hate that. No, not at all. It's too bad. It's super fun. So what? Let Let's obviously talk about the lead. Yeah. Grass Terra Frost Last EX. That's pretty cool. Easy Evo. Yep. Uh, I don't know what snow runs exist, but maybe there's one in this set. Evanescent. If this Pokemon is in the active spot and it knocked out, flip a coin. Oh. Flip a coin. Yeah. There's gonna be few cards like that. One fewer prize card. Okay. Not the worst flip. See, but I've been doing that for. I did that with my, um, whatchamacallit, my Glamora, and I've yet to make that work. And then, so obviously this is for a water deck. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Pretty interesting. Yeah, so if we keep going. Oh, a new Wochan. Leafbringer. Attach up to two. I have a Wochan deck. All of the um, Treasures of Ruin, they are now all have basic nice. single pies, and they all have the same. Attach up to first. two basic green energy cards from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. S plus. Yep. S plus. And all of the treasures do this. So now you're getting support for fire, grass. During your opponent's next turn, attacks used by the defending Pokemon cost two more. Eh. Hmm. Eh. We'll see. Could be a nice little single prize attacker. But it swings for four. That's a lot. That's That's not really ideal. But that's pretty cool. Oh, Fi Fi. Okay. So so more monkeys, which is cool. First and foremost. Here we've got our first competitive card, Cerule Edge EX. Right there. That's Armor Rouge. Armor Rouge, sorry. I said I was like, I'm looking for him. He's no, not no, here. No, no, you're right. Yeah, Armor Rouge. So Armor Rouge, Crimson Armor. If this Pokemon has full HP, it takes 80 less. Which I already from... have a really good Charcadet and Armor Rouge that I will use in my fire deck with Arcanine and Charizard. Exactly. And that's how you're going to want to um, put energy on this because you want to be at full HP so you won't want to magma base in straight to him you'll obviously you already know you use the combo yeah because you did so this you, with... you just run four of the charcadet and then you just go two and two yep 
Two and then you could, run, two of the... you could run some healing cards in this deck just to make him a super, super tank. Alrighty, our first paradox. Iron Moth Future! Future. I love this. What's what's our, what's our his name? Uh, El Pizzo. El Pizzo. Unfortunately, the card's not very good. Oh, oh, Thermal Reactor. Once during your turn, when this Pokemon moves from the bench to the active, you may move any amount of fire energy from other Pokemon to it. That is not bad. And but... maybe in a, he only hits for 120. Mm. In a single prize deck, if you know, maybe, but like Gym Leader Challenge or something like that, where they don't play with the future and past, do, do they do anything? Or is it oh, just yeah, like... we'll see. You'll oh. see. There's, there's support cards for both archetypes. Oh, yep. okay. And yep. then Flare Bringer. Okay, same thing. That's really good. I love the Chiyu. Mm -hmm. I already have Chiyu EX, mm -hmm. so this Chiyu is going to be great as well. Mega Fire of Envy. Only two. Mm -hmm. 50 plus. If a Pokemon you were knocked out by damage with this attack during your opponent's turn, this attack does 90 more. So it's it's a revenge. Yeah, revenge. If you Let's kill try. one of mine, I come in and I swing harder. <gasps> Wait! Okay, I'm stopping here. Yep. Claymation, more, more clay baby. Art. Yep. S plus. Look at that. I'm, I, I, you, I'm going to let you know right now. There's a full art special like illustration rare that is a clay of a Pokemon you really love. And we'll, All right, we'll get we're getting up to. Okay, so let's 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 gush here. Okay, because this is your boy. Yes. What do you Kingdra. think, Kingdra? Mm. That's what I think too. Yeah, big seven. Like I don't hate this attack really, but it's because it's a stage two. You know, like attacking for for one, reveal yeah. the top six, sixty for each. Um, of my opponent's Pokemon, or were to one of my opponent's Pokemon. So it's nice. You can snipe the bench. Right. And Hydra and Splash is good. That's good for a single prize. Right. But that's... that's. I mean, but you got to evolve a lot. Like, if that. you could just slap that guy down and do that, that'd be so good. But Right. Uh, Milo Tick. Hey! This is all we got to talk about. Lifeboat. Lifeboat. Take us through it. The ability here is what's really interesting. Not sure how much play it's going to see, but it is interesting. Once during your turn, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may use this ability. Each player puts a basic Pokemon from their discard pile onto their bench. Wow. So I could see this wow. being really interesting. To that's really cool. Mm -hmm. Especially when I see that there's a Garchomp EX. That's a lot of evolutions. There's a Kingdra. That's a lot of evolutions. Do you know what I mean? We were just talking about a lot of Evos, and now all of a sudden you get to revive. I think if you play a deck that does more damage for benched Pokemon, like a la like those old Suicune decks, yeah. really, really strong Ooh. card for that. So it's a... You need a fighting energy. But it's nice he attacks for colorless. And then he attacks for colorless. Attach up to three basic energy cards from your discard pile to the bench Pokemon in any way you like. Does 160 damage. Hydro Lander. I'm Pretty gonna... good. Energy acceleration for fighting that it has. That's a lot. There's a couple of... cards in this deck with some fighting energy acceleration. And then for two colorless, Sonic Dive. That's cool. He's Street Shark in it. Yeah. Discard two energy from himself. He does 120 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. So you can snipe the bench. 120. So he does 160 or snipe the bench for 120. That'd Not be a good bad against card. your Mewtwo deck. Not I a can, bad card. I can KO a Soul Rock or Lunatone with yeah. that. Um, and he's blue, so you can um, Melanie him. These two right here we're going to want to talk about. Ice cream, baby! The reason that there was no Alakazam. Oh. <laughs> it ain't... Your opponent's Pokemon, the ability of this guy. Your opponent's Pokemon that have 40 HP or less remaining can't attack. Now, how do we get there, Justin? Check the next card. It's going to do exactly 40. Serena EX. For one, oh, grass HP energy. is 30. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Put damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon until there's 30. And then they cannot Well, attack. well, well. And does that not take my exact gym colors energy so exactly serena ex ladies and gentlemen that's going to be on my search list yeah heal 30 damage from this pokemon and it recovers from all spe oh yeah baby. that's that sweet spot that's, that's a really that's nice sweet spot. V star that's the perfect that's kind of what number you right want there. um last two cards for me personally i think that you're going to want to look at here uh iron bundle Oh yeah, and the ch and, okay, and, and I and see Snowbringer. Pop. Yep. D this card up to two energy from himself, one thirty. Then that's whatever. And Blue doesn't need help with this, so this is a dud for me. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, there's because so much we have Melanie right still. Melanie, yep. 
This, I think, will be a decent call. Hyper Blower. Okay. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is your is on your bench, you may switch out your opponent's active Pokemon to the bench. And then you discard Iron Bundle. So he's a Pokemon version of Iron... of Boss's Orders. You... Well, hold on. Let me do... Okay, yeah. You may switch your opponent's active. So you... Oh, nope. It says your opponent chooses. And it so says escaped. discard, so he's not giving away prize cards. Nope. So he goes, and you can fish him out with like a super rod. You, you can run a couple of these. Fish, I, you fish him out with that Milotic. Yeah. I think this is a decent card. That's I think This legit. is a decent card. I, I think this will have some really fun I'm going to get that Milotic play. and that for my blue deck and try that out. Yeah. Oh, I see a Donnie. Let's go. Su- supplemental swallow up. All right, Oof. cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, Mewtwo EX. Oh, your boy's coming in yellow now? Electric. Electric. Uh, Papa's got a brand new color. Mewtwo. <laughs> Attach up to two basic psychic energy cards from your discard pile. Your Pokemon in any way you like. Really nice early car, um, early game mm. play. That's you know. scary. And then Photokinesis. This attack does 30 more Photon damage kinesis. for each psychic energy attached to all of your Pokemon. Similarly to... Calyrex Shadow Rider. So your Mewtwo deck's actually going to love having this guy. You going to run probably two? Potentially, yeah. There's a there's a support card that we're going to have to take a look at. Ooh, the zebra's got nice artwork. Let's go plusle and mine in. Look how adorable. That looks like some colored pencil. I yeah, love that. Yeah, that looks really that. good. I love the fall colors here. Zapping some leaves. Buddy Pulse. If you have plusle in play, this is mine in. If you have plusle in play... Whenever your opponent attaches an energy card from their hand to one of their Pokemon, put two damage counters on that. The effect of Buddy Pulse doesn't stack, so it's... Mm. Mm. That's cool for single prize. Yeah. I yeah. like that. I'd say, like... And what do you have here? This attack does 10 more damage for each damage... Ca- on the active. Okay, okay. That's, that's fun pretty- little thing there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be good for Miles. That'd be good right. for a Miles deck. And then look at this artwork. Beautiful. Mid-electric, so all the white is glowing yellow. That's pretty cool. What do you got here for yellows for? Oh, baby. Look at how adorable the Toxo Clay. Come on now. That's not the one I was talking about. Okay, so here we have one of the most controversial slash maybe most impactful. Can I guess? It's going to be either. Ooh, Tapu Coco. Bring back Tapus. Make Tapus great again. I'm assuming it's Iron Hands. It's hands. hands. Yep, it's hands. Why is it always hands? That fat bastard. Dude, it's Iron Hands world, and we're just living in it. Okay, so we got to talk about Future. Future Paradox Pokemon, three energy, arm plus 160. By the way, I have my nickname, and you want to understand how relevant and emotionally impactful. It's probably one of, if not the most emotional backstories of any One Piece character in existence. His name is Bartholomew Kuma. That's this guy? That's him, and he has the paw paw fruit. He's got giant paw prints on his palms of his hand that gives him his power. It's one of the most powerful devil fruits in all of One Piece. Mine is named Death Egg, because that looks like a... He looks like a Robotnik robot. He looks like Robotnik. Yeah. He really does. Uh, so this is the attack that we're here for. Amp you very much. 120 <laughs> damage. 120 damage. If, you're a po- if, you, if your opponent's Pokemon is knocked out by damage from this attack, take one more prize card. So you soften them up with the Iron Press, and then you Amp you very much. So this is why card. the yellows are going up in price right now? Because this guy? Yes. So yeah, Are they teching him into Miraidon? Miraidon. Okay. So the, apparently, it's early meta. Apparently, it has not been as impactful as people have kind of predicted. But I do like its ability to snipe things like Manaphy or like Jirachi, yeah. um, Radiant Jirachi, just to, just to snag single prize cards for two. I think that's um, the biggest thing. Um, this is our next most important card, Zatu. Zatu, okay. Oh, yes. I like the artwork. Let's talk about this. I, I, it looks like when Doctor Strange fell in through the... <laughs> so, clairvoyant sense, buddy. Once during your turn, you may attach a basic psychic energy card from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon. If you attach an energy to a Pokemon in this way, draw two cards. Pokemon is so broken. This... Pokemon is so broken. This is... So combine this with the new Mewtwo EX, Calyrex Shadow Rider lives again. Yeah, your deck just got a nice big bump. 
Coffee. Because and you don't have yeah. to give up three prize cards. Nope. Uh Coffee Egregious. Ooh, oh that looks pretty cool. Genome spiral. I uh, have I have a Deoxys deck. Yeah. And then what do we got for the Latios? Luster Purge? Oh this card is yeah, one eighty is not bad. Coffee. Gold Coffin. If this Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, search your deck for a card and put it in your hand. Not bad. For a card. <laughs> and then for okay. two energy, hollow hands, 110 damage, and put five damage counters on your opponent's bench Pokemon in any way you like. S+. plus. Very, very, very good. I could use some of that. Ooh, very we got a good. pumpkin. Look at that artwork. Startling Pumpkin. If this Pokemon is knocked out by damage counters from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, discard two random cards from Zero's hand. Okay, not too shabby oh, in a single MVP. prize. Yeah, yeah, single prize for sure. So you, for but sure. We, we love a lot of different... We play a lot of different types of metas in Pokemon, so... Yeah, yeah. It, it is relevant for people that want to play single prize format. Exactly. Which is super fun. Yep. This is a decent card. Espathra. I like the artwork. I love, it's almost watercolor. Reminds me of like Kanto ish. Yeah. Uh, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may prevent all damage done from your opponent's Pokemon until the end of their next turn. So it becomes invincible for a turn on evolution. Which is really nice because there's some gnarly effects we've been reading yep. through. Uh, and then uh, there he is. Oh, baby. Oh, we have our first ancient. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So future obviously wins with the. The artwork. The, the artwork yeah. This is lame sauce. It doesn't look good on the scream tail, like the pink, purple into like. The, yeah. Uh, all right. Future. Look at that data in the back. Yeah. That <laughs> it is sharp. It is sharp. It's about time you guys get one win. Wow. <laughs> I still stand by. It. I think the future Pokemon were better. Not all of them. Looking at you, Iron Jugulus. And Thorns. Thorns is all right. Um, Iron Valiant EX. Tachyon bits. Once during your turn, when this Pokemon moves from your bench to the active spot, you may put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. So nice to uh, yeah. chip away. Nice chip. Um, and then for three psychic energy, or well, two, is there two anything? Psychics. Is there anything in purple that you know how there's that one in uh, the Charizard that I have where mm -hmm. it's if you have any damage counters, do extra More stuff. Damage. Is there anything in purple that does that? Because you I, could just you could you could use that plus twisted spoons. Yeah, that's true. I don't think there really is, but it's good for Ryan. Maybe that Valiant. dreidel. We'd have to look up that old dreidel I was looking at. I think it's good for Iron Valiant because oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, because dreidel it leaves you a ten. It, it yeah. takes you down to one until you have ten HP left, and then you twisted spoons or this to kill. Yeah, yeah, because then because you'll move up to the active, they will get knocked out. You take prize cards, and then they have to give you something, and then you can swing for two hundred. Yeah, which two hundred is a is a good amount of damage. A very very nice because you could just put a put an item on that to go to two thirty. You can't attack next turn, but honestly, escape rope is all the rage rage these days. It's really just the meta has moved into a lot of escape rope. You're seeing it teched into so many. Well, and it's right a now. basic, so it can benefit from things that uh, that usually would only you know the evos won't be when it comes to retreat cost manipulation. Yep. Those are usually basic. Yep. And so that and you'll, you'll see a future card that can, you'll see later where maybe you could cycle a couple of these. So, um, yeah, Iron yeah I don't mind EX. having one of him on your bench loading up for like a checkmate situation where it's like, kill that and then blah, blah, blah. And then he finished. And then if you like, look at the math here, two damage counters against another iron valiant EX that gets you to 220 on your attack, right. and you knock out an opposing Iron Valiant. So, uh, important math right there. So, Brown deck. Oh, the boy. Yep, there well, that's he is. That's good artwork. Yeah. They've been making him look pretty good lately, I feel like. Yeah, they did a really good job. The first time I ever drew him was when I was like, oh, yeah, okay, I actually really like him. As oh. Yeah, Hoopa. These are both decent cards wow, here. Wow, that's a beautiful artwork. So we have Hoopa EX, Dark energy but it's a brown fighting card and it's uh basic and it's basic yeah energy crush 50 times this attack does 50 damage for each energy on all of zero's pokemon good, that's crazy. that's a good that's a good attack and then bandit's fist what is this then bandit's fist 200 during your next turn this pokemon can't use bandit's fist which that's okay yeah s plus good card a very good very good card i don't know if it'd be high-end competitive but that's a good card for our meta i think so too 
We got a nice sleeves. I don't really love that artwork. But mm, yeah, I don't right. hate it. I like the background more than I like sleeves herself. But that's pretty cool. And we got a Ryan Martini. Toxtricity over here. Slap it a base. Slap it to base. Um, 70 damage. Knocking hammer. Discard the top card of your opponent's deck. Okay. Not bad. Gaia Punk. But Earth then, Punk. Gaia Punk. Discard three electric energy from your Pokemon, but 270 and it, you, you could just discard it from anywhere, so you could build stuff up with your Flaffy engine. Yes. Oh, it's so easy. Yep, yep. 100%. You you nailed it. You can discard it from anywhere, just like Mewtwo Amazing. V-Star. Amazing. Um, Sandy Shocks, you'll want to take a look at as well at some point. Um, that oh, is I a, see it. So this is beautiful artwork. Beautiful. It looks like it's in down in the area go, zero. Area zero, yeah. right? Yep. Beautiful. I love the the suns uh, coming through. Very nice. And then obviously looks a little better on the brown card, but still yeah, for sure, for sure. That's, that's kind of cool. I do like Slitherwing. Nice little dinosaur bug. All right, the derp sauce, but but this artwork's pretty cool for how derpy he looks. That artwork's pretty cool. This is a nice card you can run a couple of in a fighting deck. Once during your turn, if your opponent has four or fewer prize cards remaining, so if you're behind, you may attach a basic fighting energy from your discard pile to this Pokemon. So, and then mixed with that Garchomp or whatever we were talking about, exactly. there's a lot of brown And if you look at that Garganacle right there, I mean, it's a stage three. You'd have to run two stage threes in that Garchomp, yeah. but you can move from the discard pile to a Pokemon and heal them for 30. I think that's a little... You know what I mean? So I think this could go with your Ting Lu deck. Yeah. I think this could be a good addition up. to your Ting Lu deck, yeah. which would be really obnoxious. Speaking of Ting Lu, Ting Lu, that is very, very nice artwork. Holy cow, does that look cool. Uh, dude, he's my favorite ruined Pokemon. Really? He's, yeah, I, I like really it. Lo- and that, no disrespect to the fish. No, no, not at fish. all. I really like Ting Lu. Sandbringer. Attach up to two brown energy from your discard. So, again, more acceleration for brown, which is historically by far its biggest weakness. Yes. We used to, we were gushing back in the day when Gutsy Pickax, Pickax got announced. I know. I know. It's just something so trivial because it was like, hey, we finally have a card that does well, something. Exactly. It was that or And like, now look at it. Or single prize Lucario. Like, exactly. We had to run Arceus. We had to. To make fighting good. That was the only way we made the Lucario deck, yeah. which. If you want to go check out that video, it's still a lot of good fun. Yeah. Uh, Arrogant Impact, 220. But? If he has four more damage counters on it. Oh. I see. If that if that was just a raw 220, I'd put that in my Ting Lu deck. Yep. I would drop um, Coridon. That's kind of booty. So, dark Ooh, cards. Oh, we have a Crobat. Uh, there you go. Dark cards. Um, not a lot of impactful stuff here. It's cool artwork. That Absol artwork is phenomenal. Yeah. I love the trees in the back. I love it. Love it. Ooh, Lipart artwork looks great. Yep. Swift Kitty. And your big dragon bird. Bacon. Bacon bird. The bacon. Um, Potentially one of the best cards in the set coming up here. Brute Bonnet with the brown looks kind of cool with the black. Cool artwork, too. Toxic Powder. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon has an Ancient Booster Energy Capsule attached, which I'm assuming we'll get to, to. you may make both active Pokemon poisoned. Rampaging Hammer. (laughs) 120 (laughs) during your next turn, this Pokemon can't attack. Okay, not bad. And then Roaring Moon, baby! Ancient. Let's go. Frenzied Gouging. Knock out your opponent's active Pokemon. If your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out... This Pokemon does 200 damage to itself. And then Calamity Storm. What? And then Calamity Storm. You may discard a stadium in play. If you do, this attack does 120 more damage. So for 220, you have... And he's a basic. He's a basic. (laughs) That's so stupid. Put one of the best cards in the set, buddy. Wow. One of the best. Must have four. Um, Moving on. The original Queen Bee herself from Outer Space, Jirachi. I love me some Jirachi, baby. So I really liked this card until I got to the last half of their ability. Prevent all damage counters from being placed on your bench Pokemon by effects of your attacks used by your opponent's 
basic Pokemon. So it won't be a bad situation. I mean, like if you start, if you get Ting Lu, Ting Lu, or if you do four of those, uh, that Iron Valiant, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. stuff like that might be. Um, both of these Aegis Slash need to be looked at. Okay, we have a big old line: Dublade, Dublade, Hone Edge, Hone Edge. They're giving us a bunch of. So I love. This entire, like... The line. The whole line is S+. plus. They're great. Yep. Mysterious Shield. Cool artwork. Yep. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponents EX and V. It's like Mimikyu. Just a big middle finger. Yep. I like it. That, again, makes single price great again. So now you can evolve into that stalling Aegis Slash or this offensive Aegis Slash with the Shield new and EX Sword mechanic. Mode. Exactly. Shield Mode and so- Wow. This is cool. This is cool. This is really cool. Nice job. Tip of the hat. That's cool. Peerless Edge, 70 times the damage for each prize card that I've already taken. So the further I get ahead, the more I Win do. Win more. Win more, and then double edge slash two twenty, and then thirty to himself. But he's got he's three thick. thirty. Yeah. Holy cow! And he only gives up two prizes. This, this is cool. This is a cool thing they did with the just slash here. It's My awesome. boy Zashin coming in with decent artwork. Decent iron yeah. roar. Attach a steel energy from your discard to one of your bench. Awesome, mm-hmm. and does thirty. Not bad for single prize. Yep. Oh, the dirt's derp. Yeah, the derp dirge. I, I derp like, dirge. I don't like this one as much as the other one. Inc- incendiary song. Once during your turn, you may discard a basic fire energy card from your hand in order to use this ability. During this turn, attacks used by your Pokemon do sixty more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So not terrible. I'm not lacking damage in a fire deck, though. True. <laughs> When's true. the last time I, Jake or Charizard failed to KO something? I just don't like that it's, it takes three to get there. It takes you know? a lot. Golden Go. Insane, insane, super duper, uh, why? mega, of insane he is. card. Of course he is. Insane card. Probably actually the best card in the set. Coin bonus. Once during your turn. Draw a card. If this Pokemon is in the active spot, draw one more card. And then guess what? Make it rain for one steel energy. Discard any number of basic energy cards from your hand. This attack does 50 for each card you discarded this way. Mm, there's an item card we're going to talk about that'll help you fill your oh, hand. but there's no baby Goldie. I think he's psychic. think he's psychic. He is, yep. There's a couple different gimme ghoul here. There's a call oh, for family. Oh, because he's just pure ghost. He's not steel yet, is he? Yeah, yep. There's a, there's a call, call for, for family. family. That's good. And then you slap those boys on your bench. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Very, very cool stuff. Oh, let's go. Altaria EX, Humming Heal. Once during your turn, you may heal 20 damage from each of your own Pokemon. And then Water and Steel, which is pretty standard. Light Mm -hmm. Pulse, 140 damage. Okay, cool. Prevent effects and stuff. Um, Normal Pokemon. Oh, look how adorable. Yeah. I love that he's holding a little fruit. Um, there's not a whole lot of crazy cards in here. Um, Mousehold EX, potentially. Ooh, so we got Mousehold, yep. Bombardier, and then the Iron Jugglers from the future. Oh, Jesus. Solidarity. If this Pokemon is in the active spot and is damaged by an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, even if this Pokemon is knocked out, put three damage counters on the attacking Pokemon for each Tandem Mouse, Mousehold, or Mousehold EX. In play. So you span the board, so it's just a mice deck. That's yeah. kind of cool. That's kind of fun, yeah. And it's got lots of card draw. Yeah, but it's not like Digimon. You can't have four of these and four of these. You know what I mean? It's just well, four total. Yeah, because you'd have to only, you'd only be able to run four tandem mouse, and you could run four single prize mouse hold and four s- mouse hold EX. Yeah, so it'd be hard to. So you could only, you'd, four is the most you could do. Fast carrier. Not too shabby. Three basic Pokemon and put them under your bench. Yeah, that's not terrible. No, I mean, that could be how you get your tandem mouse out. Yeah. That's a cool artwork. Yep, yep. Very, very Just nice like artwork. Bizarre. And we got the Jugs. Come on, Jugs. The Jugs. Iron Jugs, baby. Cool artwork. Yeah, very nice artwork. I like that. Coolest, I like how he's got the coolest he's ever looked. It's coolest he's ever looked. This, this the, artwork Those here. pink stripes are nice. Yeah. Um, The stack homing headbutt for three colorless. This attack does 50 damage to 
three of your opponent's Pokemon that have any damage counters on them, and then Baryon Beam for five. If this Pokemon has a future booster energy capsule attached, this attack can be used for three colorless energy. Not terrible. That's a lot of energy. One, two, three, but four, put five. that capsule on them, which we will talk about in a minute, because <laughs> we have a lot of trainer oh, cards to talk my about. Goodness. There's a lot here. Okay. All right. Well, let's start with the ancient booster energy capsule. So there's one for ancient and one for future, one I'm assuming. For future, yep. Gotcha. The ancient Pokemon this card is attached to gets plus sixty HP. Recovers from all special conditions and can't be affected. So it's like cool. uh it's like a cape or uh what is that the what's the like a big cape or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the uh, added ability of not being able to be hit with special conditions. Future booster energy. The future Pokemon this card is attached to has no retreat cost and the attacks it uses do twenty more. So your Iron Valiant's actually really legit. No retreat costs. Yeah, you. That's said. how you start your cycling. Oh, okay, that's awesome. Um, this is amazing. So counter catcher. Yes. You can use this card only if you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent. So if you're behind. Yep. Switch in one of your opponent's bench. Po- okay. Yep. It's boss's orders. Item card if you're behind. An item boss, literally S plus. Yep. Curse Duster. If this Pokemon is attached to a uh, Pokemon that's knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, discard a random card from your opponent. No, yeah. no, no, uh, no. Earthen Vessel. Earthen Vessel. You can use this card only if you discard another card from your hand. Search your deck for up to two basic energy cards. Reveal them. Put them in your hands. Of any color. So that's how we're going to power up Golden Go. Oh, Is wow, by using Earthen lot. Vessel. Is the vest any good? It's okay. It's just like Defiance Band, but you take less. And what about our supporters coming mm, here? Okay, Larry sucks because you got to flip a coin. Mela is a great card for fire decks. Mela is a great card for fire decks. All right, big boots. The big boots lady. I'm glad they cut her boots off. <laughs> <laughs> you can use this. I'm looking like, who are you? I don't even recognize you. It's because you can't see your boots. You can only use this card only if you, if any of your Pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's last turn. So kind of like a Raihan. Attach exactly. a basic Red energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. If you do draw a card, you have six in your hand. Yeah, that is, is absolutely fantastic, especially for a you know standard format. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> moving on, one of the most powerful cards for ancient. Seda's Vitality. Choose up to two of your ancient Pokemon and attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to each of them, and then if, draw three. And then draw. It's Melanie. For ancient Pokemon. Wow. And it's not color restricted. All right. Oh. All right, Turo. Turo scenario. What do you got, Prof? It's a good card, too. Put one of your Pokemon in play in your hand. It's healing. And it's not future or whatever restricted. And it's, it doesn't have to be basic. like a, Or it doesn't have to be like a... Oh, my God. That's like a... No, there's no restrictions. Just wow. put it in your hand. Wow. It's like a super scoop up net. Yeah. You got to use a supporter for it. But, yeah, but like, bro. But the fact that you could some take, of these cards have three hundred and thirty <laughs> HP, like that that freaking sword style Aegislash. Yeah, it's like the wow. fact that you can take prize cards off the board just in general. So so strong. So this will be, it's going to be a pretty good card. That's insane, bro. Um, we have to look at all these TMs too. These TMs are a uh, couple of them are pretty good. Blind slide. That one's the worst one. Blind Devolution. Slide. Evolution. So, turbo Energize. So let's start with um, Devolution because that's probably the most powerful of does it these. Do what it says on the tin. It does. The Pokemon this card is attached to can use this attack. In, oh, okay. It's one of those. So you use this attack instead like of the scrolls. On card. Yep. Remember the Rapid and Single Strike Scrolls? It's the same as. Or, or like uh, Forest Seal Stone. Um. Devolution. For one energy, devolve each of your opponent's evolved Pokemon by putting the highest stage card on it into your opponent's hand. Now, that may seem like a useless thing. Well, zero, you could just... My opponent could put them back on next no, turn. No, because then not, you bounce them and then you kill the the Pikachu underneath the if, Raichu. If they've got damage counters on them and you devolve them... Now they might just die from the damage counter? They might die oh, from the damage God, counter. This game is broken. Evolution. Choose up to two of your bench Pokemon for each of those Pokemon. Search your deck for a card that evolves from that Pokemon and put it on the Pokemon to evolve it. How many times are you going to say Pokemon evolve in the same? Yeah. <laughs> Shuffle your deck. No, it's a really good That's ability. That's another really it's good It's a one. very good ability. Yep. 
And then Turbo Energize, not terrible either. Now keep in mind, after you use this... No have, color restriction. After you use these TMs, you have to discard them. Yeah. This isn't something you can just spam. And then Techno Radar, um, discard another card from your hand, search your deck for up to two future Pokemon. Very nice. Uh, so that's pretty Ooh, much... I see purple for Tulip. Yeah, this is um, Nessa for purples. But, that's very good for purple. Yep. That's insanely good. You just got a brand new supporter, bro. And if Tulip is in the discard pile, Espathra does 140 damage for one psychic energy. So they are a I like a Rourke. Combo. Draw, Draw two. two cards, put a basic energy card from your discard into your hand. Yeah, not terrible. That's not terrible. Isn't that the dude from 4th gen? Yep. He's the first gym leader. Yeah, yeah he had the Rampart. Oh, here All we right. go. Yep, let's round it out by looking okay, at Okay, so arts. we're going to close out the show. So, so far, let's talk about it. I have to get this. This card's like $5 right now. i got to get one before it yeah. goes up in price. But So let's talk about it. That's the oh, medical energy, last one. Yep. Um, as long as this card is attached to the Pokemon, it provides colorless. When you attach this card from your hand to one of your Pokemon, heal that Pokemon for 30 damage. Not too shabby. Yeah. I think this was a lot of fun. I think there's some really competitive stuff here. I'm excited to pick up some Mela for my... I have an Arcanine EX and a... It, it's Arcanine EX and Charizard V-Star. So that's a really fun deck, and I really want to tech some Mela in there. Uh, what do you think? Are you going to pick up any... Are you going to do your Mewtwo, the yellow one? Um, I'm considering... Are you going to start a new deck? You, know, you, only you gonna... know what I'm really the most excited for? Is it, to build an ancient or a future deck. And see how they evolve because oh, we're only a start few sets. Now. Yeah, because we didn't see Fluttermane. You know, oh, we're gonna get yeah, more yeah. future cards. Definitely. We're gonna get more ancient cards. So I'm really. I interested. think I'm gonna get some of the Iron Bundle. I think yeah. I think he's a must buy. And I'm gonna get Serena EX because that looks like a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. let's uh, round it out here. We'll talk about some of the super special artwork. So obviously. Cake Thief under awesome here. Awesome crossbow card, dude. 12 out of 10. Sorry for here. anyone who's listening right now not being able to like actually look at these beautiful cards. Uh, I love the Iron Moth. I mentioned it already. Yeah, this is gorgeous. I'm grabbing one for the binder. That's, That's really a beautiful cool. Beautiful card. I do like this uh, Toad Scroll art. He's got a decent ability, too. Cards in your opponent's discard pile can't be put into their into their hand by the effects of trainers and items. Plusle and Minin look great. Look at this dude's got pizza over here. This one's got some fries. Yeah. They're just playing. Just a couple of gamer nerds, dude. Yep. Look at that sick Groudon, dude. Where Look at that insane Groudon. Let's artwork. go. The boy's coming in hot over here. Attach a basic energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon. Yep. He's kind of always done that, I feel like. That's really cool artwork. Oh, wow. Why? Oh, yeah. Just a random For Blitzel, Blitzel yeah. It looks so beautiful. And look at this one. Oh, there we go. There's sleeves. Kung Fu Panda, man. So good. Inner peace. Um, yep. The that's not there. bad either. Yeah, that's pretty adorable. That's a good that's man type artwork. Uh, that Gimme Ghoul's cool. That that Kevin's nice. Running through the yeah. desert. I don't like Minior as a Pokemon, but no. I do enjoy that artwork. It's very visually stimulating. Oh my there it is. goodness! That's what I was telling you about, dude. They made Clay a palm. They did. What? Oh, he looks so good, dude. I told you. Oh like, my god, he looks so good. I gotta get one for the binder. You do, because you mean you see, I have my collection up there of the whole full art of the kitty. Yep, I got the whole full art of the kitty. So like, <laughs> as much I'm allowed to talk crap about how they made him bipedal, I still bought him. I spent the money. I spent the money. Yeah. I repped the brand. I repped. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, he just slash. That's gorgeous. Yep. That might be a good silver deck to buy. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, <laughs> it's just a bunch of cyclozars and parking spots, and they're just chilling. Hey, what up, bro? Hey. Yeah, <laughs> that's hilarious. That one looks like a moped. Look at him. Yeah, that's kind of ominous. I kind of like it. It's like floating over like some. Yeah. Oh my I think God. there's some more. The A-Palm, bro. Oh no, because these are the full arts. Oh, there, yeah, there's more illustration rares. So here's some of the trainers. That Mela's nice. Yeah. Again, no boots. No boots. Um. I like both the profs. That tulip looks great. Yeah. Rourke looks great. Ooh, look, at, look, look at Garchomp, dude. Garchomp looks cool. Very, very cool. Like he just jumped out of the water. Yeah. 
Oh, and he's got the little fountain on his head. Too. Yeah, he's a Terra, so he can't be hit by damage from... Um... Look at that. Let's go. That's beautiful. So I think the most expensive card in the set right now is Iron, is Roar, this Roaring Moon card right here is the like hundred dollars. And look at him; he's down in the he's down in the pit. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah, that's sick. That's cool. So bro. sick. I like that Galizapod art. Look at the Iron Hands busting through the wall. <laughs> yeah, dude, like a like a cartoon, dude. Oh like, yeah, oh, like he's literally like the Kool Aid Man. Oh. Mella with Torkoal, what? See, and they still they hit her boots a little bit. Oh my Mella goodness, that's amazing. That might have to be a... Oh, look at the tulip, though. Yeah. We might have to get one of these. Oh, we yeah, got some goldies. Energy, gold, gold reverse energy. Not too shabby. I like the professors here. I like both of them, yeah. Yeah, they're great. Parasol lady. So if you're handing your deck, then draw four. If you go second in its first turn, draw eight. Not... Not the worst. Not the worst, not the best. We've seen cards like that, like Cynthia's. Yeah, it's not really my cup of tea. Cynthia's but... ambition. So, yeah. Yeah, there's some really beautiful stuff. This was a lot of fun. I can't wait for this. Oh, that's not too shabby either. Look at that artwork. Yeah, Garganackle, just chilling. Yeah, that's yeah, cool yeah. too. There's yeah. some beautiful. There's some... It, oh, chilling. we got Julie. <laughs> what up, Garbodor? <laughs> Very yeah. nice stuff. Oh my goodness! Look at the candy yeah, land, more Pecco. He's so angry. There's Melvin on all of her glory. Yeah. Well, yeah, this was fun. This was super, super great. The Steelix, like these, this is just amazing. Yeah. They did such a great job. Yeah, I'm excited. We're gonna end it here. Yeah, let's leave this on. I'm screen. happy. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna own this soon, so you'll see yeah. it in live. I'm, I'm excited to start an ancient deck and kind of. See how it evolves. I thought you might go future for uh, your value. Or, well, your value is purple too. Maybe future, because like... future, it's got the bundle too. So yeah, the bundle. We'll kind of see. I think I'm really excited for it to kind of turn into a rapid strike and single strike kind of thing because, like, right. And see how because rapid strike was really Ooh, really technical. very trippy, and I really enjoyed that. Is that Camille that did the artwork on that? Can't yeah. read it. Yeah, yeah, what'd you think? Yeah, a lot of fun stuff. I can't really wait to uh, dive into this set. Even look at the Porygon Z. Yeah. He's a gamer in the gamer space. Look, he literally has your light. He does, Your Pokeball too. light in the background. That's so cool. Yeah, they, they just nailed it. They get the theme of, like, what... They get the the vibe of, like, who we are as a fandom. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, in this artwork, it really yeah. should... Like, this Mian Shao is phenomenal. They yep. just... They, they nail it. Yep. Oh, yeah. I can look all day. I can yeah. look all day. Yeah. Let's close out of here, yeah. man. That's so, super fun. This has been a great podcast. If you have stuck around until the end, you know, obviously, we appreciate all of you. We really do have a lot of fun recording these. This is sort of the crux of our channel as it yeah. is. Yeah. Uh, guys, let us know what you think of the new set. I'm really excited. Like yeah. I said, let us know this... in the comments below. What What are you What are you excited to play? What are you excited to collect? Both. Yeah. All. Exactly. Yeah. What are, what's, what are you putting in your binder? What kind of deck are you building? Yep. I know I'm looking at an Ancient or a Future deck. I really... Like I think I'm looking to add a couple of things. I want to buy the Serena mm -hmm. and maybe tech, and, and the Iron Bundle and try that in my Poncho deck. Oh, And yeah. I want to potentially try out the uh, the Mela. Yeah. And maybe that Chi Yu and a couple... Oh, and then the Armor Rouge. Yeah, could yeah. He could easily be, tech into my deck. You could deck, just buy four. Have, yeah, yeah. I already, yep. And you already have Charcadet, so you exactly. could really run like a. You could run four Charcadet and then two of each. Switch it up and like average. I could like pull out some of the Charizards. Right, just and play with your ratios a little. Play bit. with the ratios and go Jake, uh, Arcanine, and Char uh, Armor Rouge. Instead. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, so lots of that's what I'm looking for is just going sideways pivot on a couple of these. Yeah. All right, guys, like Justin said, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. We are going to get out of here. we got to cut it right before it hits that hour. Otherwise, people aren't going to click on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys, until next time, I've been Zero. And I'm Jim Leader Justin. Council is adjourned.